So my name is Nasra Swai. Nasra um, a motivational speaker, motivational um, a speaker. transformation leader. Okay. Yes, yes, I'm a youth leader actually. You're a youth leader. Yeah, That's yeah. That's amazing. Yes, I inspire young people okay. um, to live up to their highest potential, to yeah. do what they love, and and following their passion, and and yeah, become great and living the life of purpose actually. Living a life of purpose. Yeah. That's interesting. That's interesting. And so when it comes to youth, um, do you talk directly to them? Are there venues where you go and you discuss certain things with the youth? And when you do do that, when let's say you call um, a motivational speaking meeting mm -hmm. where you say this one's particularly for youth, mm -hmm. how is the turnout normally? I'm really interested to know what if our youth are interested in being empowered. Mm, uh, that's a really good question. Uh, first of all, when I meet with young people, personally, it can be um, in the university, or we can have conference meetings, or we can have seminars, or we can have activities like hiking or anything like that. But you should first of all create an environment for them to be interested in what you're telling them. So people won't listen to you unless uh, they know that you are bringing something in, in the plate that is interesting. Mm. So before you talk to them, first of all, you have to give them reasons as to why they should listen to you and why you and what, what's in it like you have to give it to them so before I talk to them first of all I tell them that I'm also young like you but okay. I, I also feel like I have a role to play in our lives that's why I feel like whatever I'll speak will reason resonate with you so I think we have to uh, actually agree on this so that's why it becomes easy for me to interact with them um, unlike if it was somebody who's older they'll be like okay stop your mumming me you get it but yeah. with me it's actually mm. I feel like you're, I can actually listen to you because we are of the same um, age and of the same age yeah, so yeah. then they connect with you on that level definitely, definitely. so the turnout is usually good definitely all right now what do you tend to discuss mm. you know motivational speaking is very wide it's very broad mm -hmm. are there particular things you focus on particular topics where you find uh, this is a niche or here in mm. Kenya this is a particular thing I would mm. rather focus on because it's different all over the world mm. people are into different things yeah is there a niche topic that you have question so basically um, I'm based in shaping the minds of young young people to think independently and creatively um, um, basing on the fact that globalization um, is actually growing mm -hmm. we have we're now celebrating 30 years of globalization yes. and it's actually it's not that old it's young but most young people don't even know how to go about it mm. um, because the competition that we used to compete um, in the when globalization was formed was the competition of knowledge where most people were like they don't even know what's globalization they said they see just uh, improvement of technology big businesses employing people and everything so that was when globalization was formed but right now in the next 30 years we have to come up with something which will be really unique because in the last 30 years globalization has done a lot but it has actually done worse as well it has caused unemployment and if we don't change the way we think we mm. can't be able to deal with globalization in the next 30 years yeah so how is what what do i believe i believe we have to change the way we think first of all the competition we had in the last 30 years was based on knowledge but the competition that we are going to have should be based on values creativity imagination and teamwork because mm -hmm. those are the only things that will differentiate us from machine the last 30 years human beings were uh, were shaped to think and behave like machines yes. but the next 30 years machines will be like human beings yes. so if we want human beings to to have a stand out and if we want our children to compete and stand out against the machines they should have some things that the machines can't do and that is creativity imagination imagination values and teamwork right so that is those are the things that i focus on um telling young people so that we can practice that will make us stand and deal with this competitive world you know that's really amazing and i feel like those are things that the youth need to know for sure yeah. especially i like how you focus you know um your particular talk towards them you want to focus on uh, growing their creativity their imagination all these areas where we're not necessarily going to be in, especially since it's a computer-based world like you said computers and even robots coming in and everything we need our children to know other things and other ways to manage the world around them mm -hmm. as a motivational speaker I have to say uh, what are your most um, what's your most difficult topic to discuss What's that one thing that just makes you feel uncomfortable and awkward on stage? <laughs> if there's anything. Mm. 
actually with me i'm really transparent and yes. because i talk to young people so i can't just say sometimes i feel uncomfortable but there are some topics as you know provided that i'm a girl and uh, you see i just don't talk to specific genders so i talk to mixed genders um sexual education um actually w it's actually a little bit difficult because some questions may come and all that but still we face them we talk to them because we know actually we have to be really open with them because if we're not going to be open with them they may meet some difficulties and it, I think it's our role to talk to them and to let them know so actually sexual education is a bit tricky yeah. especially when you talk to talk to teenagers or people like that they, they may even tend to attack you sometimes you're like oh wow okay yes <laughs> especially if they don't like your point of view yeah 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 see uh, they they may actually have different points of view but you you just okay you just don't you don't have to tell them that that does not work you have to agree with them and give them reason as to why they should actually take what you're telling them yeah oh i see yeah. the reason i'd ask you that is um just to i guess for anyone who's interested in trying to be a motivational speaker you're going to have to be well-rounded mm. as you heard nasra say mm. there are topics which will make you feel Ooh. a little uncomfortable but you have to be transparent as she said and mm. as transparent as she is that's the best way to go around it and i need to know your social media handles because we are actually running out of time and i want people to be able to talk to you because you seem like a very influential lady you seem like you have a lot to say and you seem like you can put life into the youth so i'd like for them to know how they can reach you that's your camera okay thank you so much please reach out to my socials that is facebook nasra swai and uh, instagram this Opie one show mm -hmm. <laughs> please reach out to my socials that is facebook nasra swai and instagram official underscore nasra underscore swai and yes youtube impacting lives with nasra youtube impacting lives with nasra yes. you guys yes. there's no question she won't touch and i'm sure that she's going to really really put some life into you this year she's all about changing the mindset and creating a better more positive thoughts within the youth's minds. And I think that's important. Here on Y254, Nasra is exactly what we need. Nasra is exactly what we love. So you've heard how to reach her and I expect you guys to do so. If you want to reach me, you can do that on Joy underscore Mochache. Signing out for the show, this has been Tuesday Entrepreneurship. I do wish you a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And also, I wish you to have uh, positive thoughts. Keep it that way, positive thoughts. <laughs>